I didn't let it be on camera, but there goes the sex tuplets. They live down the road from me. Uh, it's time to put this baby in service. I'm out today. Uh, I couldn't hardly walk. My feet was hurting so bad, but they ate up with arthritis and all the meds they got me on. They can't give me arthritis medicine. I begged three times past several months, but they'd rather keep me alive with my heart, I guess. But they ain't got to live like I do. So we're going to take other means, but I got Toradol, I got uh, uh, steroids and something else that they gave me, and uh, I can't sit down to save my life right now. So uh, it's lunchtime, figure it's lunch. I'll get away from the computer since I'm remoted in today, and uh, we're going to take this on a couple of spins. I did a basic uh, eyeball leveling of the deck. Um, I couldn't find a double lock grease locally here where I live and there's just as a farming community. I mean, that's cotton picking oil, literally it's cotton picking oil. <sighs> so I got 140 weight in there to get me by for a good test drive. It gets by for a couple of weeks and I'll get stuff ordered. But, um, uh, let's see else here. Uh, all the grease points, everything's really been, uh, changed over to uh, sealed bearing. So there's not much greasing I got to do. And uh, I 3D printed some uh, real quick handles for the uh, deck engagement, deck height, and shifter. And man, this, it, it, it's never shifted this good. So, I mean, everything's new, so I guess it's got to do it right, right. So, uh, if you're new to it, full restoration, ground up restoration, the only thing that didn't get completely blasted down to the metal, sanded, whatever, is the bottom of the deck. My brother-in-law thought this was some massive zero turn when he owned it and drove it and just destroyed the front of the deck. It needs a deck, but I did the best I could. Uh, I think it came in a factory eight horse or something. Now it's got 23.5, 24 horsepower. Uh, uh, as you can tell the seat, they want, what, $250 for a replacement seat, the snap-on. That ain't happening on my watch. I got a lot of money in this, but that's too much. I'm sorry. Uh, I did all that. I did a test crank last night, and then uh, everything went good. My wife was in the garage getting something, and I had come out before we got out. No, it was after we called the doctor, and the garage doors were up, which is rare out of her because this thing was pouring fuel. I'll try to put a picture. Pouring fuel out of this one. This one, this uh, header wrap was wet, so I yanked the plugs out fuel just run out i didn't have the fuel cut off but you remember this goes up to a fuel pump so it has some kind of siphoning effect going on uh i did fill it all the way up and the original design of this engine on the other uh mower it was on that's on the channel it's uh it's the it's the making of tea biscuit um the beginning stages the tank's higher than the engine so but it you know it's supposed to shut off here's the fuel pump but uh, let me bring y'all in for a little bit and show you some modifications that I made and stuff that I fabricated. All right, down here, with the extra little stuff I had lying around, I cut it down, and this is, I made a choke out of all that. All that, you can probably see the components I used and made work. All this, this is all from uh, a clinical computer hardware and mounting brackets. I've cut everything down in the band, yeah, the bandsaw, excuse me, and made it all work. That's the choke. And of course, the dual exhaust, completely hand fabricated. It just worked out that way. This wasn't planned. I just said, well, I'm gonna make dual exhaust for it. So poof, there you go. Uh, I've already spoke why my father-in-law's name is on the engine. And uh, since it's much bigger, and you know, this is Snapper, it's got to sit up on his booty. Uh, this is uh, some channel that I cut down and painted. And I extended this, and I forgot to paint it. Oh well, it's going in service. I did not restore the bagger unit. It's in storage, but we will be getting it out. And that's, uh, that's a lie. That's there for the aesthetics. 
that's how you start it. Uh, let's see else here. I think that wheel right there is, I would say, a tenth of the metal was missing, and I filled everything in with uh, um, JB Weld and hand sanded everything down. Well, I used a Dremel at first and then hand sanded it to smooth it on out. This thing sat around a long time, but over a year without tires on the wheels, so you can tell, you know, it needs touch up, but it's going into service. This thing's going to be a little nasty when I'm done with it just to do the uh, sea trials a day on it. But other than that, uh, I still need to get the, the stuff to go on, the, uh, that non-skid to go on the pedals. That'll get us by. I might have it in before we put it in service this next weekend. And uh, see else here. Up here, when I was trying to remove this, you can see that. The only one at $12, but I just, uh, I like the fact that it was factory. And uh, I'm going to take it back off one day, and I'm going to bond me some plastic on the inside or some rubber, and it will hold it together. Um, it was more of a time issue of why I did not get the hand grips. Uh, they were reasonably priced. Those were. I think uh, twenty some dollars for the set, but uh, it'd have been weeks before I got them. That wasn't happening. And uh, Damon, you know what I'm about to say. And uh, I still wanted to get the full sticker pack it's for this year model. You can't get the front one, the crepe no more. That's where Damon comes in. And uh, what else? I think I'm gonna have to. That's going to shred that belt if it gets anything loose. So uh, I might end it up that you adjust the belt with that right there. You loosen it up and you pull it on out. All the new bushings, all the bushings, every bushing on this thing is new. And, uh, you know, even in the steering collar, even all those are new. Um, they had everything online and reasonably priced. So I got some of this stuff, the hard stuff to get. Those are the ones that are really expensive. And uh, let's see what else I've done on this thing here. Oh, and you ask them, well, you know, hey, you had all that fuel running out. Yes, I'm going to change the oil again, but it didn't get past the rings. I can't smell it in the oil, but I want to get this uh, this test try, these, uh, the, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Test drive done, sorry. I want to get the test drive done, get all that done, and I'm going to change the oil again before I take it up to the church. And that's where she's going to live. So, uh, so let's sit back and uh, fire this thing up. I moved it here, so it's not a cold start, but believe me, you almost ain't got to choke this thing. It just starts right up. So let's see what she does. I'm trying to get all the, the e-brake pedal assembly. I made it, and it looks really good, but I did all the cabling and all for it because you can't even find the the correct uh, uh, pedal cover. You can't. I ordered it. They sent me the wrong one, and they gave me my money back. And they advertised when it says e-brake for right-hand side. And I really like it. It came with it because there's the bracket. So uh, I have an assembly I made. It looks really good, but we know it's not factory. I just got to get all the right cabling and everything for the e-brake. I just... I wanted to hurt and put it in service. So here we go. We normally would just uh, pull the choke there, but
wasn't popping and cracking like that the other day. So uh, I'm out of room to plugs. I'm gonna put a set of plugs in it. Well, it just revved up when it did that. That tells me it's carburation. So uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. This whole point of this is this this test drive is to check the leveling of the deck. I'm gonna get a couple more stripes out of this. I'm not gonna finish. I'm probably not gonna finish with this mower. I'm probably gonna use my other one because uh, I want to look some stuff over for the days over. So uh, I'm gonna do a few more stripes. Let's see what happens. Yeah, she's flooding now. I'm gonna build a carburetor. That's what that popping and cracking is. It's too much fuel. Well, as you notice, I had to stop. Um, I have to look at this to figure out why. But, uh, of course, they backed off. Um, everything's greased proper and all that. That's probably the noise I heard when I hit something metal. But uh, I hit them. I, I used the impact on those. So, either way, uh, I'll stick some more bolts in there. And uh, this time, I will won't trust my impact i'll make sure but either way uh there's one one less i gotta find these things are expensive uh not bad for guessing well educated guess on uh i do use when i say i eyeball something i eyeball it with tape measures <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I got to build a carburetor in this thing. As y'all can tell, I'm going to get new plugs and I'm going to build a carburetor. I did not go through the carburetion on this one. Um, that I remember, you know what? I did. I think I did build the carburetor on this. But it ran perfect under a load and all that, uh, under a light load. Because, you know, this is the first time it's actually, you know, slinging grass. Man, that paint didn't last long, did it? And that's that. VHT high. Okay, this one did. So it tells me that the I, apparently my prep work is not very good on that. So I used um, uh, I finished off with vinegar. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'll take that off and repaint it. And I'm going to walk around and look for my other bolt. <laughs> that is hilarious. I hope y'all got. I hope I got that good on camera. It just started wobbling on me because I didn't feel nothing. But uh, I'm gonna actually finish. I'm gonna put this uh, find my bolts and I'm gonna put it back together and finish cutting it because you know uh, it cuts better than my my Murray. <laughs> it's a single blade. Can't blame it. All right, I'm gonna walk around.
go, you find your place to poop. You know you wanna. But anyway. I think Gump did excellent on her first run. Other than a little wheel issue there, that uh, that falls on me. I mean, I ain't gonna lie about it. I mean, I excuse me. Uh, I hit those with the impact. So I put everything back together. I had to chase the threads and all that, and uh, got it back on there. And uh, so it it did excellent. Um, I'm very, 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 very pleased. Oh, by the way, the boat tank. Thank you, uh, Steve from church, because that's going to get that by uh, until I can get to Knoxville to get the tank, because I am sick of worrying about the intake valves. Uh, so, like I said, it did wonderful. I got to change the oil. I, as you can tell, the popping and cracking, it's a rich condition. Um, it's some odd reason. I did build the carburetor, I would say, over a year ago, but uh, it, uh, you know, I did build the carburetor a little over a year ago, but... It ran good. Uh, when I loaded it up about, what, three weeks ago? Uh, unloaded is in, you know, I held it at a high rev on the governor. But uh, I need to go through that and get that squared away. I don't want to be scaring all the neighbors and stuff and uh, the uh, our men's group. And so uh, I hope you like it. Uh, this might be the last time you see it other than its first cut at the church. And... Uh, Hopefully, I'll build another one. Do they make one bigger than that? I mean, I know they do. I put one on uh, John Deere a couple of videos ago. Uh, but it's only it only had two more horsepower than that. I like to put 40 horse on one of these. Oh, another thing I got to do is uh, I got to uh, loosen up the spine there and uh, tighten up the belt because I got some real thick stuff. It's probably about a foot tall. The engine never changed rpm but i saw belt smoke and it was stopped coming out of the deck so uh it's exactly what i thought it's got way more horsepower than what it needs uh or i should say it's got uh, enough to do the job but i'm gonna have to stock some belts even though i get those uh i get it nice and tight like it needs to this time i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna take i'm gonna have a small thing of tools and uh a belt and um a couple extra things we leave at the church so we can uh, take care of everything at the church. So, like I said, uh, we don't need, we can just show up on motorcycles and bicycles and just start cutting. We ain't got to bring nothing. So, uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, please share with your friends. And uh, God bless. Any questions or comments, please put them down below. I do expect some flack. I don't care. I'll answer the best I possibly can. Uh, I've been accused of being an engineer and uh, that i am but i'm also a retired automotive and uh i was a mechanic before i was an engineer so uh there you go i can uh pretty much uh i can baffle you with brilliance or the other b word so hey no anyway i just want to hear y'all's comments and uh and i love the looks people gave me they had to stop and look at this thing going down the road it's got a lot of bunch of smiles on it. I don't know if it's because it's restored or the fact that the monster's sitting on the back. So, um, God bless.